Hello. Welcome back to the show that never gets flowers on Valentine's Day. It's strange shoulder culture. All right, we're going to we're going to kick right off trying to figure out our latest clue here. So let's get cracking. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. It's kind of cryptic. First, let's find Tibet. I don't recall Tibet off the top of my head. There it is. Oh, wait a minute. Remember I thought this was one of those things where the first letter spelled something? It's not. But I was just wondering if it's north, east, south, south, west, south, south. Unless you see, like, a silent stranger. Stars. Now I'm going to go with this. North, east, south, south, west, south, south. Kick it in. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swath swatches, swaths of purple heather. And there, another. I was a little bit worried we were running out of inventory here, but now they're we, we're just they're coming flying in. All right, we still gotta we still gotta figure this one out. I still haven't been able to figure this out, and I'm still not sure what to do with this. Are we gonna get some kind of um a tool where we can mix plants? Because you can't you can't put them together on the shelf. And you can't examine both at the same time. Okay, well, we'll see what the day brings. Hi, Hell's Boy. Who's a good kitty? It's a good fucking kitty right there. Simone's back. Long Meg. Hey, this is... Uh, sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out f for you in the library. Okay. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Yeah, I think we already have that one identified as possible. So we're just going to go with our old work. Indeed. Let's remove our question marks. And we will put you here. Alright, so I can't saw this one because no one knows what Long Meg is. All right, next. Mailman, another letter. He always brings gossip. There's talk around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. Yeah, I know her. There are all sorts of oddballs in underwear, but that's certainly unusual. Dude, quit being judgmental. She's a completely lovely lady. Beckfoot candle. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Where's my... Do I gotta get it out on the table? Now the note about this said... I was just thinking there's also places on the map we've found with this we haven't explored. We can maybe do one of those. Just to see what happens. Um... But the note I got about this said that someone else has to have one of these so that they can pass information. So someone out there is giving us this information also has one of these interesting coins. What was this? What, what did it say? Beckfoot candle. Beckfoot candle. Who remembers seeing Beckfoot? I don't. There's Beckfoot. Do this. Do this. The candle leads me east of Wasp Water. 
To the north, the mighty Scafell Pike grazes the sky, the tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons me, beckons to me. Perhaps another time. Oh, uh, but to climb the mountain. So is this supposed to be in England? I don't recognize. I I don't recognize any of these as English English towns. I mean, it back barrow sounds very English. Swinside sounds English, but not real England. I like I like football, like European football, soccer. I know a lot of English places through soccer teams, actually. Hi, hell's boy. Oh wait, did his eyes follow my cursor? Once he's done that animation, hold on. Finish the animation, dude. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Um. Okay. This one's done. I'm getting caught up playing with the cat instead of playing a damn game. Let's go. Oh, this is the Dreyer. I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about the beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they called this thing the Servant, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name. Spit it out, dude. Except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. Oh, I don't know nothing about them. I did not join them. Who are they? There is something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the servant. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. Okay. See if I can help you with that. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. What do you want this for, dude? Is it is it Friday night or something? Come on. Get up here. Those who inhale smoke from the burning from burning its long sharp leaves elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know Dranthium as green eye, a name derived from the telltale signs of an overdose, or even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. How are your eyes looking? Oh dude, you're on the weed hard, buddy. You're hitting this shit hard. Alright. Far be it from me to judge. What are we looking for? Long, skinny leaves. Maybe something like this. Don't know. These look more rounded. Not likely. Possible. These look long and skinny. What about this one? It smells like sweet rhubarb. No, these, these do not look like this. Although these pictures can be misleading. They're not accurate. It doesn't give me anything. Men's Fortis. See, if I were making this game... I'd do something clever like have these these relate to certain properties and you might only be able to identify plants by knowing the scientific name and like the traits that link them. Uh, anyway, that's kind of like a puzzle I would give a D&D &D group or something. Maybe this uh, game will do that later. But right now the problem is finding this Tranthium. It's not looking good. Is this the mo li most likely? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think it's that. They're too spaced out. Definitely not this. Definitely not that. I 
I suppose that's possible. From its long, sharp leaves. These are not long, sharp leaves. These are fairly long, sharp leaves. It's possible we don't have the plant yet. Let's do something before we do this. Because one of the one of the things on the map was like a hunter's tomb of the hunter. Let's see what this is first. The memorial bears the name Swaif Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Dreyer. Theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of the, a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Dranthium sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. 1786 to uh, 1832. There we go. I knew it. Something wasn't adding up for me. Is this what we just picked up? Yes. Here you go. I made a special trip about 15 miles to the west just for you. I'm gonna. Is this a yellow tag? No, because it can you can get addicted and like it's not it's harmful but it's helpful. So this will be a blue tag plant. Come on. Where's my blue tags? Here's some. All right. Hi, how's boy? You good kitty. Oh, this is the cultist. Uh-oh. Where's his pin? I crept around Blackcomb two nights ago in the pitch black. That eyebright is some potent stuff. I can see clear as day. Oh, maybe this isn't the cultist. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerily, eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. High on the ridgeline, I saw a co cowed woman, wearing a jade mask, watching me, and beside her, something dark, and human, and bloody huge. I don't, I'm, I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. Oh, this is the, the, this is the damn cop. I need to speak to Verone again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal from my pounding head. Uh, you'd, you'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I've seen. I still think my theory is right that uh, Jane Mask is being manipulated or controlled or possessed or spelled or cursed by this demon monster thing. What do you want, wild coal? No. The purple berries are recommended by physicians in place of hair of a dog mentality as a tonic for those suffering from the f effects of having drunk too much the night before. Pardon me. Uh, there was some who consider wild coal a sacred plant, perhaps owing to its rarity, and claim that it is bad luck to pick berries from it. We just looked at this. I just looked at one with purple berries. Uh, was it this? Yeah. Where'd that go? Is that this? Yeah. Wild coal. Okay, um, while we're up and at it, I think there's one more place on the map that we haven't checked out that was revealed by oh the great oak. The great oak. Let's try to let's try this great oak. It's down here somewhere. Right above this this forest square right here, right? Yes. 
A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could have ever imagined any living thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Okay, so there's no reason to go there yet, I'm guessing. Uh... Okay, we can put you away for now then. Uh, we'll keep you out. We'll keep you out. All right. I don't know her. Well, this looks like it might be the right place. I don't want to have to traipse all the way over to Red Pike, so hopefully you've got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with small leaves, and it seems to grow mostly on Red Pike. At least... That's the only place I've found it. We we know what this is. This this is um. We went to Red Pike to get it. See if I can remember. I know what I'm thinking. I just need to see the name. Looking. It'll pop. It'll pop. Come on, frontal lobes. No. Come on. <clears throat> it's the one that guy had me go get. Fennet. That's what I'm thinking. That's not it. Okay. Well, I believe it says in here, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to scan for red pike. Is this it? No. Scanning, sorry. Not exactly fantastic gameplay, but hey. Non flowering plant. Damn it. If anybody sees it, shout, please. What did she say? What did she say it does? Let's look at our identified ones. That might be easy. Nine flowering plant with small leaves. Oh Christ, that could be anything. It's not wild coal, we just did that. I don't think it's fever kiss. No. Nine flowering plant wren? Not gray sand fire. Brimlock? Shit, was it Brimlock? I think it's Brimlock. Or it could be witch fig. No. 
Worryless. Shit. Common Trouse? Well, if it's common, it's not rare, right? Oh, no, here it is. Okay, so it's Common Trouse. Easy. Had it in my pocket the whole time. Next. Now serving number five, Verona Green. Poor Reuben. He looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died. He never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the Stone Circle. Uh-oh. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with that state of the body, all torn to shreds. I'd tell you they succeeded. Uh-oh. Was that the cult? Did they bring back this? And then the Gilded Dendra. That really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthington's bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest again. Want to see the sisterhood? Sisterhood will know more. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly Gilded Dendra plant. Dendru, Dendra, okay. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread. But the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. You will have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and Servant and Master. And there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead grow it is said that the dead ground northeast of Tabay. It is said that the dead ground northeast of Tabay were nothing but black Digiteris mortis grows was called when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. Okay, we're gonna go check that out right now before we finish the day. Dead ground northeast of Tabay. I know where Tabay is. Oh, let me bring up the magnifying glass for you. Northeast, where nothing grows. That was northeast, right? Uh, this is all dead ground. Uh, let's just try this one directly northeast. The wild area of blackened ground here is known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil, like fingers reaching out from the grave. Jesus. I'm not sure I'm allowed to show that on YouTube. Okay, get out of here. Let's see what our next clue is. Every day she attentively, attentively, attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the tasks given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. So according to my theory, we are just over halfway done with the game. Just solely basing it on the phases of the moon across here. You gave me a blank card. I got a blank card. I might have something for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so we will worry about that next time. We still don't know what the hell's going on here. I still don't know what the hell's going on here. How to mix plants or anything. But that's okay. Because t t the shop's open again tomorrow. We never take a day off. And we'll be back. Thanks for watching. See ya.